There is a new trend called trauma oversharing, and some experts say it could backfire on Gen Zers. Two days in a row, the millennials are sticking it to the new kids. By the way, here's a live look at Gen Zers. <laughs> Wait, is that me? Poor people. Uh, that's not you. That's from you, for. You're not Gen Z. Oh, no, You're I'm Gen, Gen S, sir. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I was going to go, what you, in the world? <laughs> You look young enough. You could be Gen Z. Okay. Gen Z is very open about mental health issues. A lot of them share past traumas online. One expert says more and more people posting about sickness, assault, abusive experiences. Now, while some say this is helpful to destigmatize things that happen in life, there, of course, is a flip side here. Experts warn it could impact a job opportunity down the line. One recent study found that employers who see posts from a job candidate who's struggling with depression or anxiety would be turned off for hiring that person. It's, of course, another chapter in the saga of the Internet saying, be yourself, just not like that. Uh, we, used to, we used to be worried about employers seeing us doing something bad. Now people are worried about being re-victimized by sharing their own experience. I guess you could look at it this way. Maybe if they don't like you for who you are, you don't want to work there anyway. That's, that's right. my motto. There you go. <laughs> and that's why I work here. <laughs> and not any other Everybody station. Everybody likes town. Andy. <laughs> I remember, I don't know if you remember this, but when Facebook first started and we were uh, definitely of drinking age, but if we were being in a photo, you could see all of us at parties and stuff like that. There's a picture, you know, the picture of a group or whatever, and all of us are like holding our hands out like this <laughs> away from the frame because we have like red solo cups with beer and whatever. That wasn't I know. beer, that was Kool-Aid. Right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Listen, it was, it was basically Andy. water, whatever that beer was. <laughs> It was uh, mostly, there's no well, we'll alcohol. We'll see you tomorrow on the morning news. That's right. Bright and early, 6 a.m. show. Newport, I think, or Laguna. Somewhere in Orange County. All right. I got to go to bed now. So. Okay. <laughs> see ya.